National symbols of India National symbol show a sense of nationhood. Let's learn about India. India is officially called the Republic of India or Bharat Ganarajya. India is located in South Asia. India is the second most populous country. India is the seventh largest country by land area. India is bounded by the Indian Ocean on the south. It shares land borders with Pakistan to the west. To the north is China. To the east is Bangladesh. New Delhi is the national capital of India. There are various official languages in India at the state level. However, there is no national language in India. The Constitution of India designates the official language of India as Hindi and English. There is no national language as declared by the Constitution of India. They are used for official purposes such as parliamentary proceedings. They are also used in the judiciary system and communications between the central government and a state government. This is India's flag. The saffron color indicates the strength and courage of the country. The white indicates peace and truth. The green shows the fertility and growth of the land. In the center of the white band is a blue wheel. The blue symbolizes the sky and the ocean. The wheel is the Dharma Chakra or wheel of law. The chakra represents the progress of the nation and justice in life. People of India the original inhabitants of India were the ancestors of the tribal group Adivasis. The first people who arrived on the Indian subcontinent come from Africa through the Arabian Peninsula. The people came with Middle Stone Age tools that helped them hunt their prey. Tools to gather food, or make clothes. India has tremendous diversity. Diversity is due to the large-scale migrations and invasions into India over thousands of years. The immigrants and invaders who came into India brought with them their different history. The different cultures, their languages and religions. These account for the tremendous diversity in India. The majority of the population of India fall within three large linguistic groups, the Indo-Aryan people, the Dravidian people, and the Iranic people. Indian society is traditionally divided into castes or clans, that is rooted in the religion of Hinduism. The caste system divides Hindus into four main categories. The Brahmins are the priests and the scholars. The Kshatriyas are the warriors and rulers. The Vaishyas are the farmers, traders and merchants. The Shudras are the laborers. There is a group of people who do not belong to any caste called the Dalits or untouchables. They are the street sweepers and latrine cleaners. The upper castes and untouchables lived in segregated colonies. One could marry only within one's caste. There is segregation in housing communities, school and education, medical and hospital care, and even burial grounds. Article 17 of Indian Constitution says, untouchability is abolished and its practice in any form is forbidden. Despite its constitutional abolition, the practice of segregating the untouchables remains very much a part of rural India. India has a rich and recorded history. However, Britain was able to capture the country and control it from 1757 to 1947. During the British colonialism English colonists marry and start families with Indian women who came from families of a high caste. 
there were offsprings of these mixed race unions. Kachabucha is used to refer to biracial people of Indian and British ancestry. The Indian nationality consists of dozens of regional ethno-linguistic groups, reflecting the rich and complex history of the country. National Costume of India Dhoti is the national attire for men. A dhoti is from 4 to 6 feet long white or color strip of cotton. This traditional attire is mainly worn by men in villages. Anachkan is a long coat or jacket that usually sports exposed buttons through the length of the jacket. It is worn with tight-fitting pants or trousers called tradars. Achkan is usually worn during the wedding ceremonies by the groom. It is usually green, light ivory, or gold-colored. It may be embroidered with gold or silver. A scarf called a dupata is sometimes added to the achkan. In India, women's clothing varies widely and is closely associated with the local culture, religion and climate. Traditional Indian clothing for women are saris. It is worn with choli tops. There is a long skirt called a lehenga worn with the top. Some women wear a dupata scarf to complete the ensemble called a gagra choli or salwar kameez suits. Children wear batu lehenga. Some saris have embellishments such as mirrors or embroidery. These are worn on special occasions. Indian wedding saris are typically red or pink, a tradition that goes back to India's pre-modern history. National Dance of India India is culturally rich, where almost every state has its own language, cuisine, and dance forms. Hence, India does not have a national dance. Bharatnatyam is known as the mother of all classical dance styles. It is considered as the oldest dance forms in the country India. It originated from the temple dancers in Tamil Nadu. Dancers usually performed in temples, on festive occasions and seasonal harvests. There is no food that has been declared to be the official national dish of India. There is no particular food that is associated with Indians due to the diversity and variations in regions. Kichdi is a popular comfort food than the national dish of India. The food can be eaten during their prayer and fasting seasons. Due to its popularity, Kichdi has been considered a symbol of national unity and diversity. The national tree is banyan tree. The national fruit is mango. The national animal is royal Bengal tiger. The national bird is Indian peacock. The national flower is lotus. These symbols of India show the culture, heritage and identity as a nation.